Hey everybody, Kuzmos here, back with Whisper of a Rose. The last episode, we managed to get a summon, which apparently anybody, even someone who's not a summoner, can do. I fiddled around a bit trying to get uh, my controller to work with this, because it keeps referencing controller options, but still no luck. Most defeated enemies reappear upon leaving an area and returning. You can use this to train your character, but if the monsters are difficult to defeat, make sure you take care of things before leaving. Huh? Sure, why not? Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and give... Uh, give my summons a try, and I'm trying to control this solely with the keyboard. I have no idea how well it will work, but it's worth a try, right? Does, does he do anything? Like, he seems to be just cheering. Oh, well, we leveled up at least. Alright, let's pop into the menu. Now, do I have to unsummon him? Okay, guess not. Alright, I guess... Ooh, what's that? A thing, a thing. Oh! Aha, heal! I like healing. I have to press the button to get past that. Hmm, I should look around for something to help me get across. I saw some yellow orb to the northeast of where I met the fairy godmother. It's worth checking out, I guess. Northeast of... Yes, yes, everybody's been healed. Good for you. I'm not sure how I feel about these paths. They're a little bit finicky, but... I guess mostly just because they're really thin in this area. Alright, so... I think here's where I'm at the Fairy Godmother, so this would be... North-ish. And as long as we turn at some point... Um, nothing there. This is ceasing to be northeast. Well, that's not what I want to play with. Oh, there it is. Yeah, let's fight this thing. XP is good, right? Let's see what damage we do with just a regular attack. Oh, well, what does Slash do good for us? I kind of like the, uh... That she pretty much just chases it back over if I time it right. I wonder if memory orbs are like skill points or money. And let's find out what this is. Ah, oh, it just opens up. Okay, cool. Well, not opens up, but it creates a little crystal bridge looking thing. I was not timed. I thought I heard a beep. Did I hear a beep? Hello. Alright. Now, last time I attacked, he attacked before I got a chance, didn't he? Let's defend. Yeah, there we go. I suppose it kind of makes sense that I can't see their timing to, like, try to precisely time things. That would probably be a little less than fair. I suppose if I can kind of just get a sense for their timing. Like that one. I suppose at least until I speed up, I have a decent chance for getting an attack. Defend, then attack. 
Now hopefully the fights actually work kind of like that, where defend is so quick, it's more about triggering it at the right time. Instead of usually, the only real time you defend in a game like this is if you've got a character that's almost, character that's almost dead. Oh, well. Or just trying to stall. Alright, so this way. Get healed back up. Oh, two of them. Most enemies travel and fight in groups. The two dream wings up ahead are a couple. If you have an encounter with one of them, the other will engage the fight as well. Sure, why not? Let's fight them. So I feel like I can probably attack one. And then the next one. Let's focus on that one. Should be able to kill it. There we go. And mate. Nope, no defense. Alright, well, you're getting attacked immediately then. I am now a novice eraser. I get it, because it's all based on our drawings. I do think I would prefer to be automatically given the rewards, though. Having to just kind of individually click the little things seems kind of pointless to me. And that was something on what this arm down here. Yeah, there we go. Well, sort of. White Cooses? I couldn't see it well enough. I'm really unused to having to play on a very tiny view space. Uh, last dream, I could actually scale up a little bit. This game, even using external programs, I can't increase the size any. I, I increase the size of the window, but it still ends up a little bitty picture in the middle of it. You're back! Now you wait a minute. I want to know where I am and why these yellow things attack me. Oh dear. Did those nasty dream wings get to you again? Hello, did you hear me at all? What is more important now is that I tell you what you need to know. Great, and I need to know that first. Did you find the objects in the chest that I placed for you? Eh, uh, yeah. Hey, what do you go around placing boxes in the middle of nowhere for? I want to help you. Would you like me to explain how to put on the equipment pieces? Sure. Oh well. You can hear. F you can wear five pieces of equipment at a time. Four of them are uh, armor. They can give you physical defense, defense against ma physical attacks, or magic defense, which protects against magical attacks. This equipment is your weapon. This is the most important one. It greatly increases the damage you do with your regular physical attacks. An option is now unlocked. Yay! And they know what, what I acquired. I wonder what happened, if it would, would it still say that had I not acquired those? Right. Now, can you at least tell me what is going on? Look around you. What do you see? I'm in a dream. No, no, dear, you're not. Or you aren't. You're in the dream world. This world is not shaped by what you desire but by what you fear. You're not lying in your bed, but you are standing wide awake in front of me. Your fears haunt this place, Melrose. You should not be here. Now, hold on just a second. What fears? This is my dream world. It's supposed to be happy. You know, I used the eye dream? I know you should not be alive if they find out. What? They desire the power you now possess. You must escape and leave this place. How? Who's that? How'd you get into Rosaria? What are you doing here? Ha ha ha, yes, yes, yes. Help, fellow fairies. Come to my aid. Cool Rose has breached our defense. Hey, what's going on? Don't you touch her. My, what? 
Melrose, running and hiding has no use. Find yourself and what is most important to you. Go home. But how? How do I leave? Quickly. Blah, blah, blah. Dear fairy junk mother. Ha, 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 ha. Why don't we have ourselves some fun? Rewind! What? How did you learn to speak? And in such way? No matter. Brace yourself, clown. Wait, darn it! What? Well, that was freaking helpful. I need to find a way out of here. I mean, where the hell can I eat? Where will I sleep? There's not even a bathroom. Those yellow things keep coming. I need to find the fairy godmother. Where did she see... She was Rosa Rosaria Rosaria. Hopefully that clown doesn't murder her by then. He didn't seem very friendly. This lovely tra trip down Dream Lane is getting a bit strange. Ah, uh, let's go to the menu and equip things. On our hands, we shall wear white gauntlets. Ah, it's Kiras. Okay, I know what's going on now. Let's save. Quickly. Alright. So, what are the odds that we're going to fight another yellow Orby guy? Dreamwing, that's what it is. Up and around, la la la. Oh, you're a big fella. Galaxy Wings. Oh, I need to choose to fight. Alright, let's see if we can pull off... I wish I knew what the heck the star did. Like, it didn't seem to do anything, but just hang out. And the slash doesn't seem to do any extra damage. Like, I'm spending 15 points for no good reason. I don't understand. Okay, there we go. He's attacking this time. That's good to know. And I can't hit him, apparently. Let's try again. Oh, good. The star finished him. One memory orb. Am I not in the front? Guess not. Sweet Sav. Uh, let's take a look at... Let's see, magic points with Sweet Sav. Oh, wow. Those are kind of powerful. Of course, one of those things that are too powerful to be useful at the current point. Alright. Let's head back to the north. Um, left seems the main path, so right. Aha, chest. I was right. More drawing salves. Very nice. I didn't actually notice if I could use, uh, items in combat. I'm assuming, because... Otherwise, it'd be kind of bland, wouldn't it? The game becomes more difficult as you proceed. Be sure to keep up with it, this by always using the best equipment. And another save. I guess we'll save there. Oh. I'm going to assume this is a bad place. Because red is always evil. What? What is that sound? And apparently stars are bad too. Ooh, with three circles around it. And that's the sound of evil. Like seriously, I think all these games use that wow noise is the bad guy sound. What the? Where's the floor? Really? That's your first question? Giant glowing arcane glyphed star, and you're worried about the floor.
All right. Oh my, the, the, no, it's not possible. Brr. Leave me alone. Ah. Okay. So, first, I think we should summon up the star. Because he does actually do things. Okay, maybe I should defend it. Now, will Sharp Slash do more damage, please? I would greatly appreciate it. Nope, just four. Well, maybe I do, what, three with an attack? This is not what I had in mind when I decided to steal that darned eye dream. When did you do that? So, okay, it's three damage he does normally. Okay. So, we'll go back to the Sharp Slash. Ow. Hmm, there's a certain amount of time between each of his fireball attacks. If I can calculate when the next one is, I can defend before it hits. Alright. So, let's do a regular attack. And then defend. Oop, oh, I'm out of mana. Whoopsies. Nope, that was wrong. One more, and then let's try to... Oh, I probably should have healed. Uh, 15. 50% HP. Let's eat a chocolate bar. That seems good. Feels like, what, five attacks? I think we've got him down this time, though. I think he did, like... Man. Oh, cool! Healed back to full at the end of the fight. Ah, is it because we leveled up? Yes, I did it! What? Why aren't you dead yet? Just die already! Oh, boy. Alright. Let's get the star back up. And... Let's try not to use quite so much mana. Yeah, because he does a pretty good chunk of damage. Street Angel, apparently, huh? Eat my sword, demon! Get another sharp slash, and that's probably going to be it for our skill use. Nicely done. One more hit, and you are down. Yes? Oh, right. Now I'll be worried about there being nothing under you. Actually, probably best thing to continue not to be under you, because... Oh, uh, well, never mind, we've hit something. An invisible something, but... So we've hit nothing? Nothing that's something? Ah, uh, something like that, right? Anyways, ooh. That's not the best picture of a diamond, perhaps. Oh, well. It looks a little too, uh... Well, I can't see it very well, but it looks out of place, is what it is. Wait, I didn't... Did she die from the fall? Should I have ran? Surely wouldn't have all this animation for just a normal death, right? Ah, through the portal. So... Twelve hours earlier. Really? Finally done. I hope school hasn't started yet. Hmm, I don't have a clock here. Maybe the radio will tell me the time. A male voice on the radio. You can already see it today in the Historical Museum of Rome. A male voice on the radio. So why did you decide to display a prototype of the eye dream in the museum? We at Caretech need the financial support. 
By displaying the iDream in public, you will be given an actual face. People will know, this is the iDream. They will be more inclined to give us donations. It's a great device that can be attached to the, to the temple, and once a shot of adrenaline is given, it draws you into a relaxing dream world. There they are, far away from reality. Bills, loans, troubles, and can calm down. That sounds like a fantastic idea, Ophelis. I have to say, I wish I had one myself, haha. <laughs> so how long can a person stay in this dream world? What if they decide to stay here forever? Well, it's very inconvenient, as time does not pass in the real world for a person while they're using the high dream. One does not age in the dream world. However, the physical body will suffer from staying in the dream world for too long. That's why we'll take good care of instructing and teaching our patients before using the eye dream, once we have finished developing the device. I wish I had an eye dream. I'd stay there forever. Bah, it's raining. So when did she steal it? Here we go. Ung. Oh, more overworld stuff. So we're going to kind of keep switching back and forth, I suppose. Hey, come back here, girl. Don't forget to do the groceries this time. So it was on a different day that we went there? That's a little confusing. Alright, guys. Uh, that's it for now. Things are really starting to pick up. So, uh... Unfortunately, we've got to be back in the real world and... I'm willing to bet it's going to be a bit bland, maybe at least until we just, uh, steal, not destroy, steal the high dream. That should be interesting. But, until next time, guys, catch you later.